Namaste and welcome to another episode of Real Well TV where today we are talking about footwork. Specifically the Filipino Kali footwork um, and its application in Jeet Kune Do. My elders always taught me back home that I have to remember my heritage and so um, when I'm talking about Jeet Kune Do, I always want to remember uh, where these applications are coming from um, and look at different martial arts and see how I can implement uh, attributes or skills from each art and bring them into my own practice of martial arts. So today we're talking about the female triangle and uh, The female triangle and uh, basic movements um, that we can utilize uh, to inform us in our movements uh, in trapping and moving in um, in any situation simple um, um, footwork so here's our foundation there we go back to center Go to the other side, back to center, back to center, cross, back to center, cross, back to center. Now, in the beginning, you might be looking down. Um, that's okay. Uh, let this triangle shape inform your movements. Now, every time I get to this place, I always want to remember that when I take my foot to here, my other foot's going to want to follow because when I make my, my steps in martial arts, I don't want to find myself where I get stuck at a position. So if I take this step and I'm here, it's almost, I mean, I can get something off from there, um, but this back foot wants to follow. So it's there, one, two, I'm ready to move. In terms of footwork, I ask myself the questions of, is this movement stable? So once I get to my next position, do I have stability? Do I have stability? Do I have stability? The next question I ask myself is, is this footwork, am I, am I mobile? Do I have mobility? If I'm here, do I have mobility? Can I fire off a kick or a punch can I can I move around so yeah simple basic steps using this triangle as a reference two three one two three one two three two three two three, two, three. Um, yeah, so we've got our center line here, and we're basically, we're going off on the 45. Um, most of the time uh, in, print, uh, in application, when an attacker is coming towards us, um, we, we've got different options. We can move straight back and avoid the situation. We can dodge the situation. Um, but a lot of times we really want to move on the angles so the attack is coming this way. We want to move over here and then we've got something to work with. Comes in, it's, I'm seeing it coming, it's coming to me, I'm avoiding it and I'm striking. So the movements, the, that the defense and the attack is in the same movement. It's one, two, back here. One, two, 
back here. Tun tun. One, two. Or, you know, you've got multiple uh, people coming at you. It's one, two, one. Two, one. So just play with that. Utilize the triangle tomorrow. We'll talk about the male triangle um, and how to implement it in our footwork. Thanks for joining me. Namaste. You have a great day. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button.